We are going to drill a challenging horizontal well that we must place precisely in the pay zone. We will use Halliburton's digital asset framework that will give us the connectivity between geology, drilling, and engineering databases. This will help us work across functions as the well is drilled. We will also be doing well bore placement in the digital asset environment. We'll use multi-well geosteering service to calculate well trajectory in real time, referencing data from all relevant offset wells. We will also continuously update the geological model of our reservoir as we are drilling. We have the seismic cube from Landmark up and running, so let's see where we're going to place this well. The objectives with this well are to stay as long as we can in the pay zone, stay away from the unstable shale roof, and also stay minimum five metres above the oil water contact. Sperry's advanced drilling, LWD, and geosteering solutions will help us with that. We will use the GeoPilot rotary steerable system with Athbit Gamma sensor for full geosteering flexibility, the Insight ADR sensor for deep looking azimuthal resistivity, ALD and CTN sensors for our azimuthal density and neutron measurements, the BAT sonic tool for rock mechanics and synthetic seismogram, and GeoTap tester for accurate formation pressure while drilling. We will use Sperry's electromagnetic telemetry service for fast and reliable data transmission. We will also need the Stratosteer 3D multi-well geosteering package to tie our real-time LWD data to the pre-well geological model of the field. This will help to place the well accurately in the sweet spot and update the model in real time while drilling. I've done the modeling for different drilling scenarios and I'm confident we can geosteer this well very accurately. I'd like to know the formation pressures as soon as possible. Let's move the geotap sensor in front of the bat sonic tool. It looks like we have the right technology selected for this well. Let's remind everybody to ensure we continue to keep a high level of focus on health, safety, and environment and drill this well safely and to plan. Let's start drilling! The GeoPilot works very well. I can steer it in any direction I want. With the downlink unit, I do not need to stop drilling to communicate with the sensors. My optimal weight on bit, torque, and RPM are calculated by Max Drill Drilling Efficiency Software based on our formation type and rock strength. We're drilling through a laminated shale section. Look at the density neutron log. These laminations have a great crossover. We have to revisit these thin sands on the way out and take pressure points with the GeoTap tester to check for pressure and connectivity to other parts of the reservoir. This can mean additional reserves. We should be approaching the reservoir soon. According to the seismic and the synthetic seismogram from the BAT sonic tool, we should be there in 50 feet. The ADR sensor has started picking up something with high resistivity coming in. You can easily see it from the separation on the geosignal measurement that the sensor makes. This is a sign we are getting close to the reservoir. I am downlinking to the GeoPilot tool and adjusting the angle of attack. We have a 50 feet thick reservoir. I want to stay close to the roof and avoid the water layer below us. The pressure while drilling measurement indicates we have excellent hole cleaning, so let's increase ROP a little and monitor the data. Are you okay with the data gathering if we increase ROP? Yes, we have a good data flow, so that should be no problem. My low gamma ray indicates good reservoir properties. Also, I can see a nice crossover from the density in the neutron. Looking at the separation, it seems like we're in the good light oil bearing part of the reservoir. The average resistivity from the ADR sensor reads about 50 ohm. That's exactly what we expected from the offset wells we've drilled in this area. Let's use the deep reading resistivity to approach the roof closer and drill parallel to it. Looking at the distance to bed boundary, we are approaching fast. The geosignal measurement now indicates that we are approaching the shale above us. I want to stay about five feet away from the shale. It should be easy if we monitor the separation on the geosignal and also the resistivity values. I can see the roof is getting closer. 
Let's hold it at 90 degrees and watch the geosignal to track the route. Based on the information gained so far while drilling this formation, we can make updates to the pre-well geological model in real time. It will allow us to adjust our well plan on the fly and better plan future wells in this field. The shale is dipping more than I expected in this area. Let's steer down to avoid it. We're getting closer to the oil water contact. If you look down now, you can see the water about 13 feet away. Let's change the angle to 92 degrees and move closer to the roof. It looks like the formation is pinching out. This is the best well we have drilled in this field. We managed to safely finish five days ahead of schedule while placing the well in the optimal location. With Sperry's ADR sensor 18 feet depth of investigation and well placement in the digital asset technique, we kept this well in the money. This will show in the daily production rate when we bring this one online. We effectively worked as a team steering the well in real time and learned a lot more about our reservoir with this approach. We'll definitely apply it to future wells in this field.